Hi, today we are going to discuss the topic is how to invoke Apex actions or Apex methods from a flow. Let's start our session with a great flow from great personality. Mind your business. Take care of what you came here for. Find the I first and you may afterwards speak of other matters. Let's see what we are going to discuss as part of this session. The first thing is how to invoke Apex actions from a flow. What to do for that? And the consideration of considerations of or limitations of invocable method. Let's start with how to make a method invocable from flow. The first thing is if you observe here, I created a class and I have a method called insert syntax. When you write a method like this it is a normal method you saw already multiple times right but to make this available for flow what you have to do you have to annotate this method with invocable method annotation and which contains different parameters few of the parameters are label which will be displayed or available when you are going to connect or when you are when you are going to call this method from our flow and description whatever the description you want you can write and it has only single parameter or it supports only single parameter, single input parameter. And it may be list of S objects or it may be list of list of S objects or list of uh, primitive types or list of your user defined types. And it should be static method. Anyway, you can see all these considerations also in the next point. But to make your method available for a flow, you have to annotate the method with invocable annotation invocable method annotation and it should be static and if you observe here this is the same functionality we are using for trigger for uh, process builder for multiple things right whenever account is created i'm creating a contact here right this is the simple logic what's happening it is just a, trying to create a contact for every account right so now we are going to see how you can invoke this method and here what you have to do uh, what you have to understand for creating the contact you don't need to write a class that means for creating the simple contact you have the possibility to create a contact without writing apex class also this session makes you understand how to invoke an apex class from a flow when there is no possibility to achieve any functionality and which is very complex which can't be done with the flow directly when you need to call a complex functionality you need to know how to call an apex class so focus how to call an apex class not an logic okay this is a simple example for you so now let's go to flows so if you uh, Let's go to flows. Click on setup. Flow. New flow. And record triggered flow. So my requirement is whenever account is created, a contact should be created. For that, I written a logic in FX class and I prepare or I annotated that method with the invocable method annotation. Now I'm going to call or invoke that method from flow on or from trigger, record triggered flow. Okay. I'm selecting object as account. And when a record is created, configure trigger. Trigger the flow when a record is created. In our case, when account is created. And next now what i have to do i have to call another action if you see here this is what we have to select action when you want to invoke an apex class for the uh, any action you have to call this one okay under interaction you have to select actions there you can see categories okay you have category type when you go to type you can select apex action for easy so when you select action apex action you can see 
all the methods which are annotated with invocable method annotation. Okay, and you can see all the Apex method. That is the easy way if you filter properly. If you don't filter also, you can select. Okay, so I suggest go type and select Apex actions and then you can do that. And you may have doubt about a legacy, Apex action legacy. What it means before we uh, before Salesforce introducing this invocable method annotation, we have another way to invoke Apex methods from flow with the process plugin, process dash plugin interfaces. Okay. Now you don't need to worry about it. Now you have easy method or easy way to interact with the Apex actions from flow when you annotate your method with invocable method annotation. Now our method is, what is that? Account insert action or account insert actions for contacts. This is account process class. Okay, if you see here, this is representing insert, this is representing the method label, what you defined in the invocable method annotation. Okay, in our invocable method, we have label or we can't, we defined a label as insert context. This is the one it is showing here. And under which class? Account process class. So account process class. So I am selecting this one. Right now, can tap creation on account creation. Simply, you can give any name and set input variables. Okay, this is the input variable you have here. Accounts. Okay, it is showing this. And what you have to include? Basically, the see here. So now include. If you have this. That means you don't need, you are not going to include. If you want to include, you have to switch on this, include. And then what you have to pass, you have to pass hold record. You don't need to pass any uh, field value here. You need to pass complete record because it is expecting list of accounts or a single account as it is list of accounts type. Okay. Now I'm passing the complete record here and that's it. Now let's done. Now say contact creation on account creation flow. So we successfully uh, included action okay in the record trigger flow for account creation now activated now let's see whether a can uh, a contact will be created or not under the account when you create an account test account flow save see a contact is created through our flow through our apex class and one more thing here as i told you at the beginning for this kind of simple logic you don't need to write an apex class you can use create record from flow create record is a standard element for creating any record under your account right so why we need to use apex invocation then Whenever you have the complex logic, which is not achievable from your flow elements, from your standard flow elements, then you may need to call Apex class. When there is a situation, such kind of situation, then only write Apex class. Otherwise, nowadays flow builder is very powerful tool where you can define multiple things, where you can achieve multiple things. If there is no any way for your requirement, and if there is a only the way that is Apex invocation, then only go with Apex invocation here. Here we are mainly concentrating on how to invoke your Apex class from your flow and how to make your method invocable from your flow. That is with the help of 
invocable method annotation okay now let's see when you are going to make a method as invocable method what kind of limitations or considerations you have and you should know those considerations let's see these are all the common uh, these are all the considerations okay so first thing is the invocable method must be static and it either be public or global and only one method in a class can be can have the invocable method annotation and other annotation can't be used with the invocable method annotation and what kind of inputs you can give okay there can be at most one input parameter its data type must be one of the following it may be list of list of primitive data type or list of primitive data type or list of an as object type or list of list of an as object type okay like this okay or list of user defined data types so what it means here you are passing the list of accounts that is a list of as object types but you may want to define your own input variables okay you can use wrapper classes you can make it like that okay i'll show you that also yeah if you observe here like this also you can do you can create an wrapper class for example contact input class this is output outer class okay contact process cls there you have contact input cls and you can define all the variables whatever the variables you want to give or you want to use as a input variables from flow you can define all the variables with invocable variable annotation this is another way annotation when you want to make this variable available for our flow okay and it is wrapper class right and inner class and while you were defining the invocable method annotation for a method so for example uh, here convert leads it is already there in the documentation salesforce documentation you can have a look okay i'll give you that link also in the video description if you observe here this is what you have to concentrate here list of contact input class okay this is the class you defined inside the outer class right <clears throat> and for this class you have different input variables once you define a method okay which has the input parameter like list of contact input cls this is called as list of user defined type okay then while you are invoking this method uh, in flow wherever we gave the record as a input variable there you have the option to give the values to these variables okay you can try your one so once you give and you can capture the values through this output variables in your flow also okay so that is how you can work with list of user defined types not only list of subject types this is how you can work with flows okay i will give you this link you have lot of uh, more information in this link it is a official documentation from salesforce you can have a look once